people please? The knackered golfist now driving. Random golf memory of the afternoon. I'm remembering my encounter with Bob Charles. Uh, Bob Charles was the best left-handed golfer to ever play the game before Phil Mickelson. He had won the 1963 British Open, and um, he was a, a big deal kind of a player back on the senior tour back in 1990, well, back in the early to mid-90s and the late 80s as well. Um, I remember Bob Charles, I carried the leaderboard for him. I was a standard bearer during the, um, the 1992 Rayleigh Senior Gold Rush at Rancho Marietta Country Club in Sacramento area. And so I was, I drew Bob Charles out of a hat and I carried the leaderboard for him. I can't remember who was playing with him. I think it was, well, it was Ken Still and Terry Dill and it was Bob Charles. So I think that's right. Anyway, um, I carried the leaderboard for his group. He shot 65 during the round on Saturday and I think he was one of the last players to 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 come in to finish his round um, to be on television I think so I don't know where I don't know where it ended up but it was it was cool because I think it was on television but uh, anyway what what amazed me about Bob Charles is that he was a very flexible uh, natural uh, swinging golfer and he had a very elegant swing very um, I think I don't know how to describe swings. It was, it was, you could notice that there's a lot of arms in a swing. I just watched a video of him, his play during the 63 British Open. A lot of arms and a lot of flexibility. And he was a tall player, uh, thin. Uh, and he, and he just had a natural gift to be able to play golf. And his, and his, and what really captivated me about him is that he played. He was a Callaway uh, staff member, and he was one of the first. Because um, I think Callaway may, basically got its start on the senior tour when the Big Bertha came out in the early '90s, and he was he was a Big Bertha player. He had the Big Bertha Woods, and he but he had the Cleveland Tour Action forged irons that he played. And he also played the um, the Kushnet Bullseye, and then he played the Maxfly uh, HT Bellata uh, 100 compression golf ball. And so, for him, for him to, or for me to be able to be a part of, well, I wasn't really a part. I just witnessed firsthand him shooting 65, um, which was an amazing thing to be seen. So. I haven't thought of that for a while, but remembering Bob Charles was a very, very good and gifted golfer. Didn't really say a lot of words, didn't really talk a lot, but he was very soft-spoken. And he's still alive. He's in his 80s, and I guess he's down in New Zealand. And um, I just saw an interview on um, the Facebook with uh, Bob Charles talking about his 63 victory at the British Open. So... It's great to see that he's still around and he's still playing golf and he's still uh, doing things. So anyway, thanks, Bob Charles. Thanks for allowing me to carry your leaderboard during the 92 uh, Rayleigh Senior Gold Rush. And I still have your golf ball that you signed for me. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching the Knackered Golfist. Stay tuned for more random golf memories on the Knackered Golfist. Thanks for watching. Four, please. The knackered golfist now driving.